Finally found a set. Well, it took me way too long to find a set of these wheels. Finally found them, got them for 80 bucks for the whole set. Tires are semi, semi okay. But these right here guys are 300 ZX wheels. Uh, they're not the twin turbo ones, they are NA. I believe they're like 16 by eight or 16 by seven. They're, I already see a problem that we're gonna have with these wheels. We'll get to that in a second. I really like just the style of these wheels, man. It's just like old school 90s feel. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh. You gotta just knock a bunch of the snow off your car. That's uh, nice. Oh, Jesus. Well, well, I plowed the driveway. Well, mm. <sighs> if you guys only could smell the, yeah, the smell. Oh. Yeah. Screw the paint, right? Just leave it to Ryan to break the door. Screw this door. Good hey. God. Hey. 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 These are the wheels. No, I mean like, these are the 300Cs, right? Yes. Okay, for some, oh wait, we're also doing the brakes from them. The His what? Didn't you say we're doing 300C brakes in the back? Oh yeah, 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 but that's that's private. Oh, they, don't, they don't know about that, they don't know about that. But, now they know, okay, but they, they the didn't, I mean, too. yes. Wow. The snow cat. It looks like a two-ton car. It's a white to blue. Boy. The fade. Yeah. That's to be fade. Bit of Mac, bit of Mac. We got our paint. Now, the first thing what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get all this corrosion off, which actually, you know what, before I even do that, I'm gonna go ahead and yank these wheel weights off because nobody likes external wheel weights in the first place. And then we'll go ahead and get, the, get this thing out and go ahead and just, it's gonna take some time. So uh, we're doing the inside and the barrels, well, the barrels and the outs and the faces, should I say, so. We got some work to do, however, these things are gonna look a whole lot nicer when we're done. At least that's the plan. Right there. Hey guys, Chris Fix. Hey, hey, how's that coffee there? Whoa! This is a hot chocolate. Whoa. Right, so just as you, just a quick heads up, if you guys want to check out their channel, Wicked Stream. Actually, hit, oop, get you guys focused in here. You guys are trying to check out a little harness ball, harness ball, harness, a harn, a harness ball. Uh, check out their channel. Link in the description. Um, you guys will kind of see them in the background doing their thing. On my end here, look at just the nastiness in here. I'm gonna try my best to get, like, ah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get all of it out. I actually got like a nicer kind of circular wire wheel disc that I can just go in there and just floss it out. Woo, man, and what time is it? It is late start because I had to drive a couple hours to get these things. It is 8.30. Let's get into it. Big, big, big nuts. Wow. DJ Big Oh yeah, bro. It's a little dusty, you don't want to breathe that in. Here we go, so I got all of I got all of the inside. I mean technically this is not even really necessary. You guys you know what I mean? Like, do this if you guys want to. I didn't go super crazy. I'm gonna probably go in there with like some sandpaper just to touch it up, but I got the barrels all nice. And now I got me some 220 grit sandpaper if we can focus on it. And I got me some, some water. And we'll go ahead and kind of get the faces scuffed up a little bit, make sure they're all nice and smooth. And then hopefully we'll get some primer on these things pretty, pretty soon here. So let's keep on rolling.
Well, it is now almost 10.30, and I guess you could say that the prep part and the whole sanding part of the wheels portion, I guess, is done. Uh, uh, the dog. Uh. Is it, is it a little, what's going, is it a little raunchy or? He farted in my face. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm really uncomfortable. This looks, uh, looks pretty neat. It's a process. Yeah. You gotta work for what you want. Yeah. They said it was easy, right? Oh, just a couple bolts. Yeah, just a couple bolts. All right, it's a little spot that is uh, that we do have. I mean, it's so like it's so slight, and these wheels are by no means like going to be something I'm going to be rolling around town in. These are just going to be burners, whatever, and stuff that we can just basically put the car in and roll with. Let's get some compressed air. I'm going to dry these off quickly. I don't really want to waste too much time right now, and we'll go ahead and tape them up. Get a bunch of note cards, fill them up, and we'll toss some primer on these. Primer isn't really like necessary. Um, I guess. It's definitely beneficial, it kind of helps fill in all the cracks and little imperfections and stuff like that. So, like I was saying, primer's good. However, you can just use paint, but primer's just the way to go. Quick tip, you guys are trying to get the best result out of your spray paint, if it's below, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees outside, or wherever the hell you guys are, go ahead and put some, uh, or put your can in a bucket of hot water, or run it under hot water, just to build that pressure, and you guys will get a whole lot better results. Okay, what time we got? It is 11.10, and we are currently done with the priming stage of two of the four wheels. As you guys can tell, it already looks so much better. Um, obviously, we still gotta put that paint on it. Now I'm thinking like I was gonna go ahead and go all out and um, do the inner barrels. I don't really know if I'm gonna do that anymore. I cleaned them up, which is... <laughs> all right, so uh, now we're just gonna go ahead and let these dry up a little bit, and I'm probably gonna swap these ones out for the other wheels. Oh, just a quick, I guess we'll do a quick comparison since we can. Look at how clean that looks right off the bat. Yup, and then we come over here. And look at, I mean, this one I think was the worst of them all. I don't know if it shows up on camera that great. But look at all the corrosion, all of that crap. So, gotta love making things look nice. Can you, I'm filming over here! All right, another quick little progress update. As you guys can see, the harness bar is looking nice. Nice, what time is it? Quick time check. Almost, it is 11.59. And then here we went up to the zone, as you guys would have seen, and got us some dupli color. So yeah, this is like some aluminum gnarly goodness and should make the wheels look factory again. The primer looks good, but I mean, I don't know. You can kind of tell it's primer, and I'm not about that. You ready for this ice cream paint job to turn into reality right here? All right, woo, woo, that is nice, dude. I gotta say, man, as the heater kicks on. Oh, by the way, they departed. It is 12.15. Um, two wheels are done, now we got two more to go, and then we'll be back here tomorrow as these dry up and cure up to fit these suckers on the car, which will be a whole mission on its own. And um, maybe or maybe not, we'll do a little, you know, a little burnout in the shop. Just, I mean, maybe not. I can't promise it'll happen in this video, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It will happen. So that'll be pretty rad. And it, just a quick kind of finish look here. Looks really, really good. Woo! Man. We are done. <laughs> it is now, time check, 12.35. Obviously, things take way longer when you try to film stuff. Like, that's just, that's the way she goes. But, I, I, you know, you guys can see, things like this take time. And I didn't even paint the inside of the barrel yet, so I'm technically kind of halfway done. However, these are a set of wheels that aren't, like, super, super flashy, nor are they kind of like a wheel I'm gonna be repping 
when like whatever you know what I mean these are just rollers or something for my car to sit on burners just a fun set of wheels it's always good to have a spare set of wheels and unfortunately I didn't I never had a set for my 240 but tomorrow I will see you guys back here won't make a difference on the same video <laughs> I will be back we'll continue on in the morning all right we are back it is now day two here oh hey also today it's gonna be a different video but today I'm gonna to probably go ahead and also hop in and start yanking out the rear subframe because we're gonna be going ahead and replacing the bushings to get rid of all my wheel hop which is no bueno man they look brand new they look brand new OEM life, sure it is. All right, so uh, no issues with the back fitting up. No issues, all good. Front, however, I think we're gonna have uh, some fitment issues. I guess, well, if you guys have been with me for a while now, you would see we have some quite large calipers up there. If you, if you take a little gander in there, that is the clearance we got. And this is with a 17. So, we'll give it a shot though. Gotta give it a shot. I hate to say this, but I'm, uh, I'm quite doubtful if this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a no-go, Roger. It's kinda hard to get a sense of how big this brake setup is, but um, it's huge. Now, however, these are coming off regardless. I am getting these powder coated a different color for the whole new color scheme. That's why the wheels are coming off because these are going to get painted a different color as well. I'm going to be painting the wheels. Brakes will get powder coated. Or maybe I'll do it myself as well. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. It's crazy how much like wheels make or break a car. I'm not saying these look bad because I actually, honestly, I like these. They remind me of like the, the late 80s, early 90s kind of Porsche style wheels. I don't know if it's just kind of me, but it looks pretty cool, man. The front is literally completely taken up by the brake rotor. It's kind of funny. But that is gonna be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Drop a comment down below. I'm about to start on uh, another little project here, like I told you guys earlier, probably the subframe, and actually gonna continue working on the hood. Uh, however though, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. It will really help the channel grow. Uh, subscribe if you guys have not yet done so already. Huge, huge, huge build coming in the first week of January. January 6th is when the build is coming. By the time this video is up, we're probably pretty close. So subscribe, turn notifications on, guys. Please also, Follow me on social media. A lot of people have been saying that they have not been getting my videos in their sub boxes. No notifications. When they have notifications turned on, YouTube, please sort yourself out, man. Um, so if you guys can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. There you guys will see exactly when videos go up, when to see them, everything like that. So new videos live, 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.